Hey there, let's look at all the ways we can create, import and manage a data table in Gutenberg. First, make sure both the free and pro versions of essential blocks are installed and activated. Then, head to the blocks tab and turn the data table toggle on. Let's start easy and create a static table. Go to your web page, click on the plus icon to add the data table block and start filling up the column names. You can even adjust the width of each column. Once that's done, fill up the rest of your table. Or add or remove rows to your table. Alright, let's now move on and see how we can make creating tables easier by importing the data from Google Sheets. Begin by creating a data table block like the last time, but select Google Sheet as the source. Enable the Import First Row as Header option, paste the API key, Sheet ID and Range. And click Apply. Boom! Your whole Google Sheet will be imported into the table within the blink of an eye. Now, for those who prefer to use CSV files, we have got you covered as well. To import your CSV data, simply insert the data table block and select CSV as a source this time around. Don't forget to enable the import first row as header like before and upload the CSV file of your choice and your data table is ready. But hold on, what if you want to customize it before you show it to the world? We've got it covered as well. Let's check it out. Click on the block editor Configure the header, pagination and search features as needed. There's way more that you can do. Now it's time for styling and customization. Explore the style tab to play around with the alignment, border and color of all sorts. You can effortlessly sort and search through the data table. Thus, you can create a powerful data table in your website and present information beautifully. Was this video helpful for you? For more handy tutorials like this, subscribe and keep an eye out for our latest videos. Have a great day!